All right, Coach, uh, start with the obvious. Just the three-point shooting tonight was yeah. just a big key at one point, minus 54. It's just very hard to, to overcome that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, give them credit. They came in and they, they played uh, a really good overall solid game. And um, they made some shots. You know, a part of it is them and a part of it is us. We, this, we have to be better. Um, third, I think you guys had it down to eight by halftime. Uh, what do you feel like in that third quarter allowed them to just kind of put the game away there? I felt like we were just a step, a half a step to a step slow on everything. They played uh, with more of a sense of urgency. Uh, given where they are right now, the last three or four games, they lost a few. So coming in, they were the hungrier team. And this is one of those games that, you know, we build some momentum. We win three, win four in a row, and we come home off a, off a long road trip, and um, we had a letdown. So not indicative of who we've been, um, and the guys know it. We have to be better. What uh, made Garland difficult to stop tonight? Um, just he was aggressive. He was aggressive, and like I said, we were half a step slow to closeouts. Uh, they drove the ball, got in the paint, kickouts, 38 assists. And any time a team makes 23s and shoots 45 and we shoot 22 and make four, you know, that, that math is going to be tough to, to make up that many points. Yeah, along with the, the dribble penetration from Garland, it seemed like the big problem was the guys rolling down the middle of the yeah. lane, whether Jones yeah. or Allen. Uh, what, would you, what were you seeing that kind of made that a big issue for you guys? They, they, they definitely attacked us in pick and rolls. I thought when we made the adjustment to, uh, when we made the adjustment go small and red switch, you know, one through five, we were able to keep them in front of us a bit better, got back in the game. Uh, but we just didn't do enough as a team and give them credit. They came in tonight and they played a better game than us. It seemed for a stretch when you did go small, you went with B.I. on the center and he did a pretty decent job with that match. What did yeah. you kind of see uh, during those possessions when he was playing the center? Yeah, we put B.I. on uh, Allen or Jones and whenever they came in to pick and rolls, it was easier for him to just switch on to whomever the primary ball handler was. So that helped us out. But collectively as a group, this, this was not our, our, be, our best game. And uh, we got to regroup. We got, we got a couple games coming up that we have to prepare for. And a big thing for you guys on the last road trip was just getting scoring from guys outside of Z and B.I. that just wasn't there tonight. What did you kind of see that prevented the other guys from kind of stepping up and providing scoring? Yeah, they, they did a good job of closing out hard to our our shooters and um, we were we were a bit hesitant and a bit like I said had like a half a step slow on both ends of the floor even offensively uh, we didn't generate enough open shots um, and you got you have to give them some credit for sure you know as much as you try to guard against games like this you know you know coming off we know coming off a road trip um, this is this is one of those games that's set up. Uh, that you have to push through and, and we have to be better. Coach, what's, what's been the difficulty at home this season compared to last season? Uh, just the, the, the change in success and then also, um, you know, this, is, this was the fifth chance this season for you guys to get a fifth win in a row. And every time you've come up short just for one reason or another, has there been something that just prevents you guys from getting that extended winning streak? I don't know. What, I don't know. Uh, what's preventing us, but you know, the NBA is better. You know, it's hard to string together uh, a lot of wins with the with how good teams are. You guys look at the, the Western Conference. I mean, it's stacked. And um, every game you got to bring it at a high level. I just want to go back to your comment about the, the shot generation. Obviously, making four is an ideal, but when you're, you know, the majority of your starters were hitting, you're sitting in around 18 attempts and it was at 22. Yeah. Um, what, what do you attribute that as a, as a symptom of just like, you know, some, some games you're not going to make shots, but how can, you know, why was it this specific game that you couldn't get the attempts up either? Well, we, we have to drive the ball. We have to get into the paint and kick out and be ready to do it over and over again with good defense. If they're a good defensive team, they're not going to just allow you off one pass or off one side to be able to generate good shots. It takes the ball moving side to side, drive and kick, drive and kick. The dominoes fall from there. It's what they did to us, and it's what we wanted to do to them, but we, we didn't do a, a great job of executing it. I know Kerb was in foul trouble tonight, but still kind of finished with zero shots. Um, I think we got to free throw line a couple times, but uh, would you say that's also like a symptom of 
not getting into the driving kick and you know, creating advantages is just not being able to find her is a symptom of that. It was collectively. I mean, obviously Herb is is a recipient of our ability to drive the ball, kick, um, and we just collectively as a group have to be better in that area when we play against good defensive teams. And, and would you say it's, it's accurate that like, heading into this portion of the season, you guys are trying to test out some of the, the rotations you might want to see in the playoffs? And you know, maybe like I, I see you guys are trying out the CJ uh, Zion BI trade Herb lined up a little bit. Um, would you fair? Would you say it's fair? Like you know, that's the kind of mindset you're you're working with at the moment. We're trying to put the, some some of our best groups on the floor, um, and that's for now. You know, when we look at some of those groups that you're talking about, uh, we, we have some numbers on them that say that they're pretty good. So it's about putting the best groups on the floor and trying to make sure that we can execute with those groups on the floor. All right. Thanks. All right.